Okay, now, so I'm going to do a short uh, chip shot using my technique with um, early wrist cock so I can hit the ball steep. I'm going to try it on the soft, soft grass and I'm going to try it off the hard pan. So the hard pan actually give you uh, more feedback, letting you know if, the, if you hit the ball behind or you hit it in front, okay? So again, uh, based on what I want to do, I'm going to set my look for a piece of grass or something dry, a dry grass or something in my line. So you see, that's actually facing the middle garbage can. So I don't want it there at all. I want it more in line with my fence. So I just come here, I take the club, I put the club in the air, my, use my dominant eye, close my dominant eye, which is my right eye, and look at the left to see where I want to go. So that's where I want to go in the middle of that fence right there. I aim the club to the, I aim the club to the, to the ball or my dry piece of grass that I pick up. I put the ball on my right toe, okay? And because I'm hitting it like 20, 30 yards, I wanna take this here from six o'clock where I am right now to seven o'clock to eight o'clock, okay? So I set up square. Now, how do I know do I have, that I have the, the, um, the right amount of, of front bend? I want to bend from the waist, not from the knees. I bend from the waist. I rest my hand. If my hand goes on the top of my knees, not in the middle of the knees, but on the top of the knees, I know that I have the right position, okay? Because when you, I found that when you do the early wrist cock, okay, you push down on the butt of the club, okay? You push down on the butt of the club, so what you push down will come up. If you push down the butt, the head of the club will come up, which is what you want anyway. Okay? So I'm square. All right? But so when I push down, my shoulder drops. If I, if I, I use a putting stroke, my shoulders are square. So I have a more tendency to hit, to cut the ball or hit the, the ground of the hit the ground behind the ball so I don't want to do that so that's why I'm using an early wrist cock okay and so I'm gonna go here okay and I'm gonna go eight o'clock so this is seven o'clock seven o'clock is the right leg eight o'clock is the is outside the right leg and this is nine o'clock halfway so if I go halfway that's pretty much about 70 to 80 yards that I'm gonna hit the ball okay so you, you got to know your numbers when you're chipping so I come here all right and I go right there, okay? So I hit the ball pretty clean, so I know that my technique is sound, all right? So early wrist caught, that was an eight o'clock swing. I didn't hit behind the ball, hit the ball pretty clean right off the, right off of a, a very hard, hard pan, what we call hard grass, okay? Early wrist cock, nice and clean. It must always be off of the right toe if you want to hit it clean. If you put it in the middle of the stance, it's not going to be the same way at all. You will hit behind the ball. So off the right toe, early wrist cock, nice and clean. So in your routine, remember, when you're playing golf, especially on the practice range, you might be hitting the ball really, really well on the practice range. If you don't build a routine around your shots, when you go to the practice range, you're gonna just step up to the ball, you're gonna hit the ball, and, you, and you're gonna hit it right, you're gonna hit it left, you're gonna duff it, you, you're not gonna know why. So this is why professionals have confidence, especially coming in on the last day. They know they're gonna get the ball. If they get the ball to 150 yards, they know they're gonna nail the pin. Why? Because they have a routine that works for them. They don't change from the routine every detail of that routine they're thinking about. That's why you see the take so long over the ball. So for me, my routine, right, right toe, okay? Club on the, left, on the left leg, all right? Grab the club after, grip the club after I set up, square to the ball, square to the target, sorry. All right, and now I would always hit this here nicely. If I do an early wrist cut, early wrist cut, nice and clean. Okay, early wrist cock, nice and clean. If I don't do an early wrist cock, here's what's gonna happen. Okay, I, let's say I try to putt the ball without, without an early wrist cock. Right, 
I chop the ball, as you can see there. What if I don't do an early wrist cock, okay? And then I, I put the ball, keep my head down. I still, I hit it nice and clean, but it, it lost the distance. So let's say now, I, same, same, same routine, off the right toe, all right? I put the ball, but I'm gonna hold up my head. Oh my God, because I wanna see where it's going. And I hit, you see, I hit, I hit the middle of the ball. And so the ball goes skipping across the green. Now, I'm gonna show you when you do an early wrist cock, very slight, it's nothing drastic. It's very slight early wrist cock, okay? Look at this, all right? So I go very slight early wrist cock. So what I'm doing, I'm actually pushing down um, on the butt of the club to get the club head up. So I'm gonna hold up early as well too. I'm gonna get up early. So when people say you lift your head early, it really doesn't matter because it's really about the technique. Is if you try to putt, move your shoulders, it goes square, or you get an early wrist cock to hit the ball steep, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the ball steep and I'm gonna get up early. So I'm gonna early wrist cock and I'm gonna get up early, same thing. Early wrist cock, get up early. I still hit the ball clean because the early wrist cock allows the, the club to approach like that. So you don't, you don't help the ball, okay? That's the idea, you don't wanna help it, okay? So off the right toe, early wrist cock, I hit a little behind that, but still it got up in the air and it, and it, and it reached my target. So off the right toe, okay, early wrist cock, nice and clean. Okay, off the right toe, early wrist cock, nice and clean. Off the right toe, square to the target, do not open. Be square to the target, early wrist cock, nice and clean. Nice and clean, without doing anything. I'm not even thinking about turning or finishing here. You will do it automatically. Early wrist cock. Okay, we don't need too many swing thoughts when we are, we don't need too many swing thoughts when we are uh, chipping. Because if you have too many swing thoughts, maximum swing thoughts you want to have is maybe two or three, no more. And my swing thoughts is simple, all right? And it's really one swing thought. My setup is not a swing thought because once I'm in position, then I pull the trigger, okay? So it's what I'm gonna do after my setup is done. If I get my setup correctly, correct, then when I pull the trigger, I only have one swing thought. And the only swing thought that I have is early wrist cock, okay? A very slight early wrist cock, nothing, nothing, uh, Nothing uh, dramatic, okay, or aggressive. Very slight. So I push down on the butt of the glove and hit it nice and clean every time. So it doesn't matter if I hit behind the ball a little bit, which I will sometimes because I'm not a professional, okay? So early wrist cut, nice and clean, okay? And this is under pressure, so you could be coming in at minus one or, or two over, you wanna break 80. Okay, so what do you do that you don't get a double bogey or triple bogey? Early wrist cut, nice and clean. And I recommend you go to your backyard, okay, get about, get about 36 or 48 balls, all right? And you just do this here, 36 or 48 times. Early wrist cut. You don't have to think about swinging through. You don't have to think about turning your body. All that is done automatically because what your action causes a reaction. So if you have the right action, you're gonna get the right reaction to the action that you made. Okay? So, early wrist cut, nice. I hit behind that ball, but still, it made it to my target. It ran a little bit more, but it made it to my target. See, even as an amateur, as I am, okay, I still make mistakes. Early wrist cut, nice and clean. Before I was never hitting it like that, why? Because my ball position was changed all the time on the course. I would always put it in the middle, I would always put it in the front, but I put it off the right toe. Off the right toe, early wrist cut, nice and clean. Okay, so now if I wanna get like a flop shot, all right, I open the club face halfway, okay, I'm square to the ball, and then what I do, I 
go in a circle. I don't go square, okay? I go in a circle. I pretend there's an imaginary circle around me, okay? And so I go in the circle and I get the club head facing the target, but not fully facing the target. My club head is like pointing maybe 30 degrees away from the target, okay? And so now, what I'm gonna do now, the only thing I'm thinking about, early wrist cock, because it's still off my back toe. Although I turn and I open myself, it's still off my back toe. So, early wrist cock. Look at that. Much higher. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's amazing how, how this amazing game is. So, I'm not thinking about grip before. I thought about the grip so many times. I'm not thinking about the grip. I'm not thinking about none of that stuff, okay? Because what I did, my routine. I pick the line where, where, where I want my ball to go, which is that big tree right there in that line. I say, okay, this is my, this is where it's gonna go. I forget about the, I forget about the, the main target and my, my immediate target is right there. So I set up the club head facing that target, put it on the back of my, oh, sorry, on my back foot, on my right toe, drop the club to my left, left leg, then grip the club. You don't have to grip the club strong. You don't have to grip the club weak. You don't have to get it in your fingers. You just grip the club normal, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, I decide already that I wanna play a high shot. So I set up normal, and then I open the club face halfway, okay? And then I move around in a circle, all right? Until my club face is like almost facing the target. It's like pretty much facing the right of the target, all right? And then what I'm gonna do, was gonna make sure that it's still on my back leg. You see, I can let go of the club, all right? And then put the, ball, the, the club back on my left leg, the, the butt of the club on my left leg, all right? Grip the club normal, okay? Because the only thing that I'm gonna get, the only reason I'm gonna get success with this is not because of how I'm set up, is because of my early wrist cock, okay? So check this, it's very slight early wrist cock. Nice and clean. Beautiful, very soft, very nice, and very clean because of that early wrist cut. Remember, it's not something aggressive, all right? It is, it is very slight, so you're pushing on the butt of the club like that and getting that club up. What goes down must come up. So if one part of the club goes down, the other part will come up. If you swing like this, nothing is going up. So there's no, and all of the irons you need to hit with a downward motion not with a sideward, sideward, sideward motion, all right? That's why you have to get an early wrist cock because you hit it with a downward motion. If you swing flat, if you swing normal with no upward motion, if you swing with a crossward motion, then you're gonna hit crossward motion. What action you create, you're gonna create the same reaction. What goes up must come down. That's why you, you feel that the butt here in your grip, all right? pushing down to start the backswing. Pushing down to start the backswing. It makes sense because the golf swing is a circle. You see that? That's a circle. What goes down, I push down and the butt of the club comes up. But it is not aggressive. It is very slight, very slight. Remember, your action causes a reaction. So if you go like this, you're gonna lose control. But if you go like this, you're gonna have all the control in the world. What goes up must come down. What goes up must come down. So I hope that tip helps you. I'm not a golf professional, but you know, I've been playing this game for a number of years and uh, you know, I discover things that help me. And I know that this same, um, this, these same uh, tips and tricks can help you as well. And this is coming from a amateur perspective, okay? Sorry about the quality of the video, but I just want to give you an idea of what this looked like.